Welcome back to AmericanHunter.org's Sunday Gun Day, where we kick off each week by discussing some of the latest and greatest firearms available to hunters. This week we're featuring a rifle that has a well-earned place in American history, and just so happens to be celebrating its centennial this year. The legendary Browning BAR, which John Browning patented way back in 1917. Originally designed to serve American troops during what was then known as the Great War, and classified as the M1918, the BER eventually earned its place in history by ably serving troops during World War II and then later in Korea. Its military history is well documented, and rightly so. What we're here to talk about, though, is hunting with it, which became a reality in 1967 when John Browning's grandson, Bruce, served as the driving force behind the BER sporting model. Naturally, the BER that eventually found its way into civilian hands was a very distinct and separate rifle from the one that had helped storm the beaches of Normandy. It became a semi-auto, for starters, but, in turn, set the standard for auto-loading hunting rifles and, for more than 20 years after its introduction, was the only auto-loader on the market that was available in Magnum calibers. When Browning launched the sporting model of the BAR, the company stressed a combination of firepower and manageable recoil, and that won over American hunters with little issue. As the decades have gone by, Browning has occasionally tinkered with the BAR. The basics are relatively unchanged. It still features a rotary bolt that locks up into the barrel, a detachable magazine on a hinged floor plate, and the recoil dampening gas operating system. There have been a few updates though, leaving us with the most recent iteration, the BAA Mark III, the base model of which I'm holding here. The basic Mark III received some new styling, a fine oil finish, Turkish walnut stock, a precision alloy receiver, and a hammer forged barrel. The receiver is engraved, and the rifle has an inflex recoil pad, which allows for a bit of comfort on the range. Otherwise, it's the BAR you remember, and can be found in a bevy of calibers, ranging from 243 Winchester all the way up to 300 Win Mag. In order to celebrate the rifle's 100th birthday, Browning has rolled out a few new for 2017 editions of the Mark III. First, there's the Mark III Stalker, which features a composite stock. You'll find another synthetic model that's covered up in Mossy Oak's breakup camouflage pattern. Lastly, there's the Mark III DBM, which stands for Detachable Box Magazine. As you might have guessed, it's named as such because it sports a more modern, conventional box mag. There's also a full-fledged BAR 100th anniversary model, built on the rifle's ritzier Mark II design. All of them come with a four-figured price tag, but it's money well spent. The BAR didn't hang around this long just for posterity's sake. It's a straight-shooting, well-manufactured piece of American history. Lose a few rounds with one, and you'll be hard-pressed to put it down. For more information on the BAR Mark III, go to browning.com. And remember, you can catch up on past episodes of Sunday Gun Day any day of the week by keeping your browser tuned to AmericanHunter.org.